I'm warning you. No! I am warning you. Now you have two choices. Either duck me with that kennel prod or get out of my way. Well, if those are my only two choices. Did I say two? I meant a few. Hundred, perhaps, and for two. While Raju was untying me, he told me about how you stopped the Lord Shank from hurting me. Oh, it was no big deal. Come on, to thank heavens! What are you doing here? Where Lord Shank is running around? The ship! We have got to get out! It's going to blow up! That's what was in the ship's log! People, we are leaving! time we've spent together. After all the glories of the Spung Empire you witnessed, still you resist me. Haven't you learned anything? What kind of daughter are you? There you are. Come on, let's move. Let's go, come on. They are right behind us. Commander. The curse is preparing to break off from her sister ship. Destruction is imminent. I'm going after them. If I'm not back in 30 seconds, get the ship clear. Sir. That's an order, TJ. Here they come. Not so fast. Velma, emergency override. I cannot, Commander. The press that has sealed off the airlocks because she is moving away from her sister ship. It is about to blow up. say at a time like this but not one of them will do a bit of good there's no worse feeling than losing a crew member no cure for it but time time you mean like we'll forget oh you know that's not what i mean i have lost so many crewmates more than you could believe but i've never i've never felt any loss as deeply as this. But we have to go on. We have to be brave. What she would have wanted that. What she would have wanted is to live. What she would have wanted is for me to stop picking on her, to, to be nice to her, to know how much, how much I liked her. She knew. I'd hear her whispering to Susie at night. She knew how you felt about her. How we all felt. I should have told her. I should have. I mean, she was a. She was the best. And um, in order to serve with. There, I told you it would work. When the protomix blew, I knew it would tear the dimensional fabric just enough to pull you through. Who the heck are you? You. You can see me. Yes, of course we can see you. Harlan, Rosie. You can... Sure, you're standing right there. Chad, they can see uh, me! 
Cat, she's she safe? She's alive? She's alive. Oh, Cat, come on, where are you? Cat, she's she's right here. Why can't you? Oh no. No. No, don't don't tell me you're. That's right, genius. I'm Susie. Next time on Space Cases, the Krista is headed for a meltdown. Don't miss the next intergalactic adventure of Space Cases. Next week, same time, same place, right here on Nick. Yo! Once upon a time, in a school and not a space, there was a class of misfit kids from all around the place. They snuck aboard a mystery ship. We'll soon slip through a spatial rip. And now they're stuck on a long, strange trip. Harlan Ben leaps before he looks. Commander Goddard does not go by the books. Rattle tries to get along. Thelma functions mostly wrong. Overcrowded. Yo, this is Mark Summers asking a potentially dangerous question. What would you do? Coming up next on Nick.